here I have my pick strobe scope. At the heart of the circuit, the pic 12F675 microprocessor. On this board, I have seven LEDs, two male pin headers for external LEDs, and a short to connect them. One 2N2222 transistor, and I'll explain why you need that specific transistor, or you could use another value, but I'll talk about that later. A few resistors, terminal block, a pot, 6 volt ba power supply, well, I used rechargeable batteries. Um, this thing runs on 5 volts, but I'm using rechargeables and that's 1.2 volts per, so that's 4.8 volts. I have a 5 volt regulator in case I use a 12 volt wall wart. So, how about we power it up? As you can see, this LED over here is strobing. Kind of hard to see. What do you think? Let's turn off the lights. There we go. Much easier. Now, as you can see, it's strobing pretty quickly. Actually, it's actually pretty slow. Now, a human can see this pretty easily. But as I adjust it, the brightness increases. And it can increase to this maximum rate, where they're not strobing at all. They're just blue. This is, if you, I put this on a scope, it'd be zero. Like a perfect line. You could say that these LEDs are pulse width modulating, and technically they are. But really, this is used for slowing s fans or dripping water down. In my next video, or the video below, I'm going to show you what I mean. Now, let's take a look at the schematic. Here at the heart of the circuit, again, is the PIC 12F675 for microchip. Now, only pins 1, 5, 7, and 8 are used. Opposed to that, 2, 3, 4, and 6 can do another perform another task. There are two coupling capacitors, um, another capacitor from pin 5. Let's start talking about the LEDs. They each have about 20 milliamps, and the power supply is about 4.8 volts. So, I put a 68 ohm resistor. That goes into the transistor. The transistor helps make the pick drive the LEDs. Now, I spoke earlier about using the 2N2222 transistor, and I said that because the transistor can drive up to 1 amp. 213904 can only drive about 500 milliamps. It's a bit marginal because, well, each LED takes about 20 milliamps and there's 7, so that's 140. I put a 680 ohm resistor so it won't burn out. And then here's my PS power supply. Here I've got my 4.8 volt power supply, and that dash to blank voltage is basically just saying that this could run on 12 volts, it can run on 24 volts. There's a 5 volt regulator basically. VCC goes to there. And that's my schematic. If you want a clearer picture, you can check out my instructable. I explain how to program the pick, and there you can find the source code, the object code, and a whole lot of other cool stuff.